This is a special report from Channel 32 News. Good afternoon, I'm Bruce Dunbar, Channel 32 News. This fast-breaking story has a new development in New Albany where a man has been holed up all afternoon. Police have been outside. Connie Leonard is live at the scene. Connie, what can you tell us? Well, right now, Bruce, I can tell you that it appears that uh, police SWAT team members have gone in. Uh, it appears that uh, something might be happening soon. Um, we've, it looks like the situation is set up where um, members are, are, are ready for 42-year-old uh, Jesse Earl Davidson to come out. Uh, right now, uh, you, as you can see, SWAT team members are in place. Um, we are back behind where the house is, so we cannot see, but uh, uh, you, will, you will be seeing if he does come out because we understand he may be coming from around the back side of the house. Uh, right now, uh, they are trying to get him out. Uh, apparently what happened was uh, tear gas, several rounds of tear gas were fired into the house earlier. Uh, just uh, about 30 minutes ago, it sounded like a lot of shots. Uh, fire officials are pulling up the street, as you can see, uh, getting ready. And um, it appears that uh, he is coming out. So we have not been told what the situation is at this moment, if he is coming out or, or what's happening. All right, Connie, uh, we want to set this up for our viewers who are just tuning in, getting home from work and tuning on the uh, television and uh, seeing what we have here. Uh, earlier today, about 10.30 this morning, in fact, police say that uh, a 42-year-old man, Jesse Davidson, went to Wheeler Elementary School to see his estranged wife, who was a teacher there. He found that she was on a leave of absence and not available. And police say that as he left the elementary school, he saw a woman drive up and let off one of her children to go to school. He commandeered her vehicle, held her and her two children at gunpoint, drove aimlessly around downtown Louisville for a while, uh, then allegedly raped the woman and forced her to drive him to that location in New Albany where you're, you're standing now, to the home of the aunt of his estranged wife, presumably to find out where the woman was. Uh, he grabbed her, held her hostage for several hours. The abducted woman left the scene. Uh, the hostage was released about 2.45 this afternoon. We've had this standoff ever since. Connie, uh, as you reported earlier in the afternoon, uh, police tried everything possible to get this thing to end uh, peacefully. Can you briefly describe that for us? Yes, they did. They turned off the electricity at about 1.30, and that did bring a peaceful end to a hostage situation. Emily Terrence was released, and... Uh, uh, right now, uh, if we can, I'd like to uh, speak with uh, uh, Indiana State Police uh, Trooper Marvin Jenkins. Marvin, what can you tell us? What has just happened? The emergency response team made entry into the residence. Uh, they did find the suspect uh, has been shot, apparently uh, self-inflicted. Okay. Uh, was uh, This happened after the tear gas, apparently. Uh, it, it's our belief at this time that it probably occurred during the uh, firing of the tear gas rounds. And uh, uh, do you feel like this is the best way that uh, the situation was handled today, that uh, it, although it ended in, in this way, that uh, police did the best that they could? I think under um, the cir circumstances, the information we have with his frame of mind, uh, some threats that he made, uh, this possibly was inevitable. I'm not sure we could have done anything to change it. Tell us what you tried to do to get him to come out peacefully. What I know you all have been working all day long. Uh, this has been very hard for SWAT team members. What was done to try and get him to come out peacefully? Well, it was discussed all day with him to come out, uh, turn himself in.